My name's Susan Cutts. I'm a sculptor and I work with my own handmade paper. I started off at the London College of Furniture doing constructed textiles. It became quite apparent that my work was three-dimensional, sculptural. I was working with dress. I wanted to keep it stiff. I had to use a glue, which I wasn't too keen on. And I came across paper. I learnt paper making, as most people do, with a, a handful of sugar paper and a home liquidizer. I made this horrible lumpy paper, took it back to my studio. I put it onto a mould that I'd made to block something on. Next time I went to the studio, it dried. I just thought, this is it. Oh, God, that's cold. I get sort of slightly hooked on certain fibres. And this is Abaca, which is a member of the banana family. And it makes a really nice, soft paper. The first sheet of paper is like pancake making. It's never that good. Anyway, you rest it for a bit to um, drain the paper off. Then you just upend it and couch it. And there you have a sheet of paper. So I will make a couple of hundred sheets, freeze them, and then make some more. And then when the freeze is full, I'll start working. Oh, this piece of gold leaf in there. I love what I do. I love everything about it. I love from standing in the garage being freezing cold, rinsing the paper being freezing cold, working in here, freezing cold water. I, ju I just love it. I love everything, everything about it. And I like, I particularly like, okay, I've got the making side of it. I like the research. You get a lot of paper out of not an awful lot of fibre. This has been washed, soaked, cooked, rinsed, and that's what I end up working with. This is the Hollander. Don't operate with the lid off. <laughs> I'm interested in clothes, the way we wear them. They identify us, they are like a thumbprint. Little black dress, really an early piece. I think I made 10 or 12 of them, and it was basically about women being strong and the little black dress, you often think in the little black dress you're gonna hide in the corner, but my little black dress ladies weren't, they were making a point. I had pin-up, and the more I thought about it, I thought, well, pin-up is a, quite a derogatory term. So these were really just dresses pointing out derogatory terms used about women, and this one was button-up because I heard somebody tell his wife or partner in a supermarket to button up. It just made me want to make something. It can be very unpredictable. And I think that is the beauty of working with a natural, with a natural fibre. This is what I'm currently working on. And what inspired this was the 60 child refugees in Syria. I wanted to do a piece, but of course, once I've got the idea, I, I have to interpret it into a piece of clothing. And I particularly wanted to work with colour because I think it needed colour to make a statement. I've made my baby, I've coated her in wax, I've stuffed her so that she holds her shape. She's stitched up at the side. I would put two layers of the paper over. I just remove pieces and then they're just pressed on. I cannot do a drawing and then interpret it as a piece. I can't do measurements and say this is how it's going to work. I have to work through it. And sometimes it can be really, it can take weeks or months of trial and error. I like things to look pleasing. I don't particularly want to produce ugly work. I'm, I'm sure I could. <laughs> I'm sure, sure people say I have. And I like to have a bit of humour in my work. I like to think somebody went in and went, ooh, this is, this is interesting but I would like it also that they went in and said, yeah, it's, it's pretty, no, I don't like ugly work. <laughs>